everyone, my name is Hata. Today I will read my book, Animals in the Air. Part 1. Animals that fly. Many animals fly because it helps them to stay safe and they can move around fast to find food. For example, bees fly to collect nectar from flowers. Then they use the nectar to make honey. Some animals fly to hunt other animals so that they can eat them. For example, owls fly to hunt smaller animals like mice. Some animals fly to stay safe from other animals that want to eat them. For example, small birds fly to escape from cats and dogs. Many birds make their homes in tall trees where they are safe. Some birds, like stoves, make their nests in high places, like the top of poles or buildings. Some snakes can make very big nests. The nests can be two meters across. Part 6. Flying together. Many birds fly together in big groups called flocks. Some small animals fly in flocks to stay safe from hunting birds like eagles and falcons. Other, and other birds like ducks and geese fly in flocks when they move to a new place. Starlings are small animals that usually fly in small flocks. These flocks sometimes join together to make big flocks with thousands of starlings. They look like dark clouds. Some flying insects, like bees, moths, and locusts, fly in big groups called swarms. Sometimes there are millions of insects all together. When locusts are very hungry, they eat all of the green plants that they find. Swarming locusts are a big problem for farmers. Bees only fly in swarms when they are moving to a new home. Special spots bees show the swarms where to go. That is the end of the story. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.